And happening today, Metro Council is talking about two bills that would allow license plate readers. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson live in downtown this morning. And Cole, while these readers, you know, could become a reality, this won't allow them to just pop up all over town overnight, right? <laughs> That's right, Amy. It's actually just dealing with having these readers in police cars. That's with both of these bills. Now, Metro Council could decide which bill is best today, or they could push this to decision to another date. But let's focus in on the bill. So the first one is actually pretty straightforward. It really just changes Metro code, allowing the police to have the readers. The second one, that's the one that's a bit more in depth and adds stipulations. For instance, the purpose of it, like only using it for investigating and prosecuting criminal offenses, using it in some ways for civil civil traffic and parking offenses and helping in missing persons cases plus amber and silver alerts to name a few of those things. Now another thing to highlight in the second bill when officers get an alert on a plate before doing anything they need to confirm both the plate number and whether the alert is still active then find out if the alert is for the person who registered the car or for the car itself. Now Councilman Sean Parker tweeted out a statement from some local immigrant organizations that urged to vote no on the second bill saying in part quote our city works best when everyone can feel safe and participate, but massive data gathering and surveillance only serve to erode trust and disproportionately target black and brown communities. Now, this council meeting will be getting underway tonight at 630.